Day 97 of the Trump presidency in the White House today outlined his plans for big tax cuts for businesses and individuals. The plan includes a drastic cut in the corporate tax rate from 35 to 15 percent. It will reduce the number of tax brackets for individual uh, individuals from 7 to 3. We're talking tax levels being 10, 25 and 35 percent. It will also roughly double the standard deduction that most Americans use to reduce their taxable income. Charitable contributions and interest paid on mortgages, two of the most popular, they'll still be deductible. And the alternative minimum tax and estate tax will be eliminated. Other popular deductions like state and local taxes will no longer be deductible. Today's announcement is just an outline. Final plan comes in August, we're told. Between now and then, the White House needs to figure out just how it's going to pay for all of this. The economic plan under Trump will grow the economy and will create massive amounts of revenues, trillions of dollars in additional revenues. As it relates to will it pay for itself, um, again, I think as we've said, we're working on lots of details as to this. We have over 100 people in the Treasury that have been working on tax and scoring lots of different scenarios. This will pay for itself with growth and with reduced reduction of, of different deductions and closing loopholes. Joanne Weiner is a professor of economics at George Washington University, previously worked as a senior economist at the U.S. Treasury Department. Thanks a lot for joining us. You heard, you heard the secretary just say how they're going to pay for this. Tell me what you think of this proposal. Well, it certainly is a bold proposal. I mean, if you're going to start out by cutting the corporate tax rate 20 percentage points, I mean, that's phenomenal. We haven't cut the corporate tax rate in decades. And uh, for the individuals, not so interesting. Cutting the tax rates is not a big deal. Um, it's not so hard to multiply by 35 instead of 37. Um, but the good side is the doubling of the standard deduction. That'll help a lot of people in the middle class. Okay, this is a tax cut. This is not tax reform, is it? It's definitely not tax reform. You don't do tax reform in a few days. Okay. How do they pay for this? I, I mean, do you see a way of, is it built in? I mean, have you heard how we're going to pay for this or is this merely adding to the deficit? Well, so far this plan only has uh, very detailed tax cuts. No mention, well, a mention of closing some loopholes, so you might pay for some of it there by not allowing some income to escape tax. Uh, the big argument, I think, is people believe that cutting tax rates so, um, making such a big tax cut will lead to greater economic growth. And economic growth can cure all evils, right. solve all problems. Okay, okay, <laughs> not, not asking you to, 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 to jump on one political side or the other, but yeah. what, what do you make of that? I, I mean, you've seen numbers, you've seen tax right. cuts, hikes. Uh, what, what do you make of it? Does it make sense? Well, I, I certainly think that the corporate tax rate cut does make sense. Whether 15% is the right way, rate, I don't know. But all of the uh, uh, com competitor countries around the world have rates much lower than the U.S. rate. We used to be a low-tax country. Now we're a high-tax country. And the high rate does encourage companies to shift their income outside of the U.S. So okay. that's a good move. Okay, and I was going to ask you, okay, and when you cut tax, especially this drastic, do you feel confident that, that, that big businesses uh, will, will then pour those dollars in, into workers, more jobs, uh, more production? It'd be nice to see that, that happen. Um, we don't have much experience in that large of a tax cut. We do know that the last time there was a tax break for companies bringing money back from overseas, that uh, they did not hire a lot of people. They spent a lot of the money on buying shares back. So it's a long time ago that happened. It happened under George Bush, George W. Bush. Um, but we'll have to see about that. I think I know the an answer to this, but uh, mortgage interests uh, and uh, charitable contributions, he didn't touch those. Why well, he couldn't touch those. The last time that anyone uh, proposed taking away the mortgage interest deduction, uh, the plan sunk like a rock. Uh, you can't take away the mortgage interest deduction and charitable contribution. People like those things. And by the way, the plan also keeps the IRA deduction. So um, the, the plan is going gonna, is gonna to float because of keeping those P People uh, like those. Benefits. And also, the, the, those two things have strong lobbyists, too. They have strong lobbyists. I mean, obviously, the real estate industry would like to keep the mortgage interest and deduction. And the charities, they live off charities, of those Charities, kind of you know, the charitable contribution does a lot of good. I mean, mm. it's not perfect, but if you took it away, I think that we would see a lot of people would stop giving as much as they do. Okay, as you look at these numbers, I, I mean, what would you tweak? What, what would you add? What would you uh, subtract? Well, I would not give the um, 
um, pass-through entities, the partnerships, the, tax, the corporate tax cut. I would keep their income taxed at the individual rate, not let them be taxed like business. Okay. Um, and what do you so like most about what the president's put out here? You've already said the, uh, uh, the, the reduction in the uh, corporate tax rate. You yeah, like I like that. And I also like the fact that the, stand, that the uh, doubling of the standard deduction will actually help middle class people. There are a lot of tax breaks that go to people on the lower spectrum, but I think that that is one that helps a lot of people. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. You're Appreciate very it. welcome. Glad right. to be here. We got a lot for you. Break.